Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can install JPhoenix in IntelliJ projects. Not really installing them, but you can you can add them to your um, IntelliJ project. So first off, you need to know uh, which version of Java you're using. So JPhoenix is in a lot of different versions, and you should use the version that cl most closely matches the one uh, you have, uh, the Java version. So I'm, I'm using Java 14 and you might be using 15 or something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it as a library. Just go up here and I'll go for the project structure. And I already added here uh, Java FX. So I just, I think the easiest way, go here, click from Maven and you say com.jphoenix and you click search. And then it should pop up with all the different uh, versions of JPhoenix. And if you see here, there are different numbers here. Like if you have using Java 8, you should use JPhoenix, the newest version of that. I'm using Java 14, so I should probably be using the newest version, which is this one. So let's hope it works with Java 14. So we'll click. I'll, I'll download it in this case. You don't need to do that, but I like to have it in the library folder also because I want to use it uh, later on. So I'll just click OK and add it here. So now it's under my lib folder, just like my uh, FXML or JavaFX is. So I'll click OK, and now I added JPhoenix here. So the next cool thing is, if we want to use JPhoenix, a lot of the stuff from JPhoenix is residing in um, in the FXML file. So if we want to be able to use that in Scene Builder, we need to add that to Scene Builder. So we kind of need to install it in Scene Builder. So if I open up Scene Builder here. Then I need to go and and add. I don't want to open up a new project. Okay, new version of Scene Builder. I'll just ignore that. I can see I have version 11 right now, but I should probably. So I'll just ignore that for now. So I'll go up here, and then there's different uh, things you can do here. One of them is that you can import something. So you can import uh, FXML. So what you want to do, like click and then import FXML. And then you need to find the file on your hard drive. So I put mine under, I think, documents. And I have something here, like maybe it's under GitHub. No, let me just think for a second. I need to figure out where I actually put my project. So let's just look here. It's under user idea projects. Okay. So I'll go for C users and my username is user and then idea projects. And this one is called Java effects charts examples. And I go to the lib folder and I have here, I have my J Phoenix uh, file. Okay. So I go in here, see users, user, idea projects, lib, and so maybe they changed it, but let's see if we can do it like that. Fail to import. Okay, so it tries to import an FXML file. So they obviously changed that. Let's see. For a second here. Hmm. Oh, now I suddenly remember. I think you have to click, click up here, jar FXML manager. And you can even uh, do search repositories here. Um,
add library from file system jphoenix and th there you go so what you can see here is these are all the different things that you have from jphoenix so i'll just everything is checked in so i'll say import components and that's that's it now it's installed in scene builder so what we can do now is that after installing it it should be there so after installing that if i open up my main fxml file in scene builder from one of my projects here i have one here with some pie charts and stuff in it um what i can do is if i want to change this button into uh, one of the new ones i search for jfx and then jfx button so they are all so it looks a bit differently so I'll say draw a chart and then I'll take the code here. Oh, it's up here. The draw chart on action. I'll move that into this one like that. And then we move this button here. And now I put a JavaFX button or sorry, sorry, a J Phoenix button instead of the original one. If you look at the properties, you will see that there is some other, there other, this is called custom. These are from the J Phoenix. So you can go in here, you can say it should be raised or flat. So it's a bit different. And there's also Rippler fill that has to do when you click it, it kind of uh, uh, ripples. So let me just take a color here just for the, for the fun of it. So if you go preview, you can see it, it, it does like that. That's the color I've chosen like that. So, and we might even want to say it set the uh, background color for the button or something like that. Maybe we could go, um, let me just see here. We can go for style and then we could say something like background color pink like this. So now it's raised and pink and everything and we can try see what it looks like here. Looks pretty cool. So I'll save that close and now should be able to see here that it's a JFX button and it works and it wouldn't work if I didn't import uh, the J Phoenix here. And also I wouldn't be able to see them if I didn't import them into scene builder. You need to do this for each and every project where you need to use uh, J Phoenix, but for a scene builder, you only need to do it uh, once. You can always go in here, go up here and then click here and then Go for the jar manager and you can remove that if you want to delete it. If you have problems that um, that the scene builder is crashing or something like that, you probably chose the wrong version of JPhoenix, especially if you're using J, uh, sorry, Java 8 and you put uh, JPhoenix 9 here, you'll get into some problems or uh, the other way around. If I was to use uh, J Phoenix 8 here, I could also get into some, some problems. I've seen that in the past. So that's basically it, how to install J Phoenix, in, how to use it in your projects and how to install it in Scene Builder. So good luck.